All right, so welcome to this tutorial on snow. Uh, first thing you need to do is create a new composition called snow. The composition is not the length of your footage, but the length that the snow occurs over your film. So if, for example, two minutes of your film happen outside, you need a two minute loop of snow to go on top of your film. Um, we're gonna do a 10 second loop, as you can see here. Click OK. And here's my new composition. It says snow, there's nothing in it. There's no properties I've brought in. What you're going to do is create a new solid. So right click the gray space in the timeline panel uh, and create a new solid. Just make it the default black fun color, it's fine. Uh, you want it to fill the computer size, the composition size, sorry, and click OK. And it looks like nothing's occurred. And as a matter of fact, if I scroll through it, nothing has in fact occurred. But I have this solid mass of space that I can now add an effect to. So you have this effects and presets tab here. If you can't see it, just go to your window and open up the effects and presets, um, and it will pop up. But what's great about this is you can actually get a uh, particle simulation. Um, in this case, it would be snow. So I click the simulation tab, and I scroll down to snow. Uh, this is the same for rain, same for anything. Uh, it's just how you add weather. You're going to drag that onto your solid or onto your composition. Both work. Drop it. There you go. It looks like snow. If I hit scroll, it will start to snow. Obviously, I haven't determined how bad of a snowstorm it is, if it's blowing wind in one direction. All of that is now done in your effects control panel side panel. So here you can see the amount how much snow is there. Okay. As well, if you want to change that, you can record different times that it slowly comes in throughout the amount. So maybe at the beginning the stopwatch is on and there's not so much snow. But wait, halfway through the storm, gets really busy, lots more snow, gets through like a really bad storm, go further into the storm, really starts to peak. And then as the storm digresses, it starts to dissolve. And so now if I scroll through it, I should see the variations of my snowstorm. Just because I hit the stopwatch. So if you don't want to affect the whole thing, but just a part of it, you just turn the stopwatch on. If you want to affect the entire clip of your snow, you don't need to turn the stopwatch on. Um, what you're going to do is you can change the speed. How fast is it snowing? How slow is it snowing? Um, again, directions. If you use the drop down, sometimes you get even more um, options below, or sometimes it's just a scroll bar. Depends on the menu. Each one is very different. Uh, flake size, again, pretty self explanatory. Uh, how frequent the snow starts. How deep does it actually end up coming down? How dark is the snow? Okay. Um, so if I scroll through it, there's my snowstorm. I've kind of customized it from basic, and that's it. And it gets a little bit worse, a little bit heavier, and then it starts to lighten up again. And that's how you create snow. It's the exact same thing if you want rain, if you want anything. All your weather particles are within uh, the effects preset menu under particles. Uh, pretty easy. I hope you're able to use it. And have a good day.